Alrighty, what's up Facebook Meta Group? I'm going to try to break this video up possibly into two videos or just one long video. But the benefit of using virtual desktop with the modified hack that I was mentioning, when you're in fast paced games, hang on, let me shut this down. Okay, one second here. Um, close that out. And let me exit out of uh, virtual desktop altogether. Okay, so I'm on the meta, I'm on wireless. The benefit over virtual desktop from meta link is you just have so much more control. You have many more options that the meta link does not provide. However, the virtual desktop does not officially support the wired hack. It only supports wireless. But as you see, you have all these options here. Hey, you got to show your computers. You can set your different environments, pass through environments, whatever environment you want to set it through. I have it in mixed reality. It shows you whatever games you have installed, your inputs, your settings, your stream settings from potato to godlike. And then videos, if you wanted to watch VR videos, you might have saved. And um, the other benefit about this, first you need to install uh, something called VR Streamer or a Desktop Streamer. It's what allows it to communicate to this. But the benefit of having this is, like I said, you have all of these settings that you can change to optimize your game. But instead of me just rambling on here, let me go ahead and launch Steam VR. Hang on, this is not the screen I want. I gotta launch it the other way. Let me close that out completely. Now, if you're in a slow paced game, having it wired really won't matter but if you're in a fast-paced game like beat saber or something where latency is a real issue having it wired will be much more beneficial to you okay um you know what let's do no man's sky because this one tends to be a little laggy either way but you can tell the difference when you're wireless versus wired so let me sit up And right now, sitting up, I want to say I'm about an arm and a half lengths away from the modem. So I have nothing blocking me between me and the modem. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> Big old kid. As you just saw that little micro stutter there, if you're noticing, I'm having micro stutters. Now I'm not having any stutters. What? Oh, right there, right there. Okay, so you saw the micro stutters. I'm going to go ahead and hop out of this now. Let me exit the game. We are going to close out of our VR here. We are now going to grab our modified hacks. Well, I say modified hacks, I'm not hacking. I shouldn't say that, probably sound like I'm hacking a game. Take your uh, ethernet cable Plug one end of your Ethernet cable into here, just like so. 
Now I have to actually take my uh, headphone off. Well, maybe I don't. Um, you take the uh, power. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I might have to just make a video on my phone showing what I'm doing at another time. But uh, hang on here. Don't want to take my headphone off because I think it'll cause the video to stop. So I got that plugged in there. One second, I'm trying to feel around doing this blend. Right. Sorry for the pasty white legs. It's hot. I took my pants off. Okay. We are now wired. So, um, let me get out of that. We are now going to come over to our settings. We are going to disconnect. So now we are disconnected from Wi-Fi. But as you'll be able to see, I can still actually connect to Facebook and whatnot because we are now on a wired connection. So now we're going to open up our virtual desktop again. We are going to wait for it to connect. It doesn't automatically. There we go. And for some reason, I don't know if it's me, but it just looks more clear. I'll have to go back and watch the video and look at the timestamps, but for whatever reason, it just looks a wee bit more crystal clear, like noticeably so. I'm going to open up uh, Steam VR. Now, as you notice, I'm still 5G 1200 because I'm limited by the modem. But you should see the latency shouldn't be as erratic. The FPS may still bounce up and down because this game is kind of not optimized as well for VR. But I'm already showing lower uh, latency than I did before. And like I said, if you're doing a slow game, this isn't going to be necessary at all. But if you're doing a real fast-paced game, you might actually enjoy having the really quick response times. Okay, no stuttering. We're taking off. We stuttered like a half dozen times at this point. Is that a stutter? Let me open this. Not sure if that was a stutter or me slamming on the brakes. But let's try to uh, get up into space. It just feels so damn smooth. And yeah, I can't fly with these controllers. I'm still trying to figure out how to fly with the uh, <laughs> meta controllers. So don't judge me. But yeah, look at that, not one stutter. And I'm trying here, I'm trying to, you know, mimic what I did before. I'm trying to cause the stuttering. And I stuttered when I took off and when I was trying to get into space and there's nothing here. No stuttering whatsoever. And this is the benefit of using it wired. But like I said, if you're gonna be using a game where, you, oh, that might've been a stutter right there. I think I had one, maybe two stutters 
versus the uh, 7 or 8. And it just looks and feels smooth. But if you're going to be doing a game that you need to like move your arms and legs around a lot, might not be the best uh, might not be the best option for you. But um yeah. Alrighty, and this is No Man's Sky on the Quest 3 Wired. Okay, that right there is a freeze. I don't know what just happened there. Waiting. Okay. I don't believe that's the connection. I believe that's the game just taking a dump. Not exactly sure what's happening with that. But like I said, the game is not the most optimized. So we're just gonna go ahead and exit that. And I guess since I'm wasting everybody's time, I will fire up one more game just to show you. Um. Let me exit this here and go to the library. Hang on. I always exit out after a game and I reopen it. Alrighty, um... I believe Star Wars, I need to uh, open that up before I uh, do any VR. I haven't done that one yet. I got to set that one for VR. So let's try Contagion VR. I haven't played this one yet. Welcome to the Contagion VR tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll introduce you to core gameplay mechanics. Let's get started by going over how to move in the world. By default, Contagion Outbreak has you navigate the world at large with the touchpad on the left hand. You move by pushing your thumb in the direction you wish to go, relative to your left hand's orientation. Move to the three markers using the movement controls. Now let's familiarize you with the inventory system. Pick up the wrench in front of you by press move the wrench to the flashing socket on your chest and press the grab button to holster it to your body. Okay, this grab game I'm probably going to have to stand up. Melee weapons don't require anything special. Just swing and connect. The faster you can, good. Now let's get you familiar with the backpack. Reach over your shoulder and grab your backpack by pressing and holding the grab button. Then place the backpack in front of you and release the... Your backpack has enough space to store up to four items of your choosing. To put something inside the backpack, simply place the item inside one of the four boxes. And when the box highlights green, you can release the item in place. A red flashing color means that the item cannot be stored in the backpack. Place the wrench in your backpack. Okay, was well, I not listening? How do I... Whoop. Once open, yeah, well, how the hell do I open it? I'm not going to waste too much time on this. Might have to replay the uh, tutorial. I clearly wasn't paying attention. Probably shouldn't be sitting down playing this game. Oh well. 
anyways, as you see, my latency is pretty good. It's looking stable. Um, let's go ahead and disconnect the Ethernet real fast. Hang on here. We're going to unplug this from the side of my head. As you see, uh, Wi-Fi lost. Hang on here. Let me finish disconnecting this. Yada, yada, yada. Come on, come on. Okay, so as you see, I just disconnected the Ethernet. I'm plugging my battery back in. Now let's go back to our settings. Sorry, this video turned out to be longer than I was intending. Oh, here we go. Okay, turn Wi-Fi back on. A little bit stuttery there. We're waiting for this to reconnect. Resume. Now let's exit real quick and then reopen. Okay. Welcome to the Contagion VR tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll introduce you to core gameplay mechanics. Let's get started by going over how to move in the world. By default, Contagion Outbreak has you navigate the world at large with now let's familiarize you with the inventory system. Pick up the wrench in front of you by pressing the grab button. Where is the wrench? Where the hell is the wrench at, lady? Oh, Move the wrench to the flashing socket on your chest and press the grab button to hold. Grab your wrench again. Melee weapons don't require anything special. Just swing and connect. The faster you swing, the good. Now let's get you familiar with the backpack. Reach over your shoulder and grab your backpack by pressing and holding the grab button. Then place the backpack in front of you and your backpack has enough space to store up to four items of your choosing. When you're ready to put your backpack away, grab the handle. There is no automatic health regeneration and contagion. However, if you take damage, your watch indicates your current condition. If you drop dangerously low, visual and audible signs and feedback will alert you of your condition. To heal up, you can consume pain. Now let's teach you how to search. In the world of contagion, there will be some objects that require closer inspection to see if there's anything useful in Okay, well, inside. I don't want to keep These wasting your time. This is playing just fine because I'm not doing any fast movement, but as searching, you might have seen, it benefited icon. in No then Man's press Sky. And hold the action button so we're going to go ahead and finished. close this all out. Let me, uh, first, hang on here. Let's close it out. Confirm. Now plan. Exit. Desktop. Close out the VR. <laughs> okay, so um, we're closing out uh, the desktop there. So yeah, that's the uh, benefit of having wired versus wireless. You basically just have much better performance. It's like having your computer wired versus wireless. So yeah. Really long video for no reason. Let me turn it off now.